guys, today's video is about Gerber. It's been a minute since I made one of these. If you've been around for a while, you know I have a couple of in-depth review of Gerber baby food, but today I decided to do something different, sum it up and give you like a video warning of the worst Gerber products. Gerber improved quite a bit. They improved their old products and they came up with a very good ones because you know everybody's into this healthy organic nutrient dense game and that's great because babies need nutrient dense healthy clean food. I'm all for feeding your baby homemade food but there are a ton of reasons you might want to buy some store-bought food especially snacks like thank goodness for snacks because sometimes they can be literally your savior and even though Gerber is on top of their healthy food game and with the second child I was less strict there is still quite a few products I will never give to my baby in case you're new here welcome my name is Karina I'm a mom of two I have a three and a half year old girl and I have a 14 months old baby boy and here on my channel I share video reviews of different kind of products all things motherhood I do home making videos if this sounds like something you can get value from consider subscribing hit that bell icon I post every single Thursday and I do a bonus video here and there and I would love to have you here so let's just jump into it. the first product that I was very upset about in the previous videos I made and it's still bad although I think they improved it just a little bit still very bad shelf stable yogurt snacks it's actually called yogurt bland snacks let's take a look at the ingredients they're interesting and like I said they removed a couple of very horrible things but they still have plenty of regular sugar there to be exact they have six gram of added sugars per one container which is just 99 grams so the small container of yogurt has about one and a half teaspoon of white refined sugar that's that's a lot of sugar for a baby they still have lots of preservatives obviously and the freaking natural flavors natural flavors is the thing that tricks your brain into eating more and I told you the story before when I saw my baby my daughter becoming addicted to some puffs I got her and I didn't read the ingredients well and they had natural flavors and some sugars and my baby like an eight months old couldn't stop eating them and I was like what's going on and then I digged into the ingredient and I saw I saw my answer Ideally, you shouldn't get anything with natural flavors and yes, these are not artificial flavors which are, I would say, a little worse but technically the same thing anyways because they are allowed to don't disclose what exact ingredients are in there, what exact chemicals and for the most part, from what I know, these are the things that trick our brain into wanting more and they enhance you know the flavor like this is just a snack that your baby doesn't need there are so many more great alternatives I have a top five best baby snack video I'll leave it right here and in the description below go watch that one after this one is done learn more about that do not buy Gerber yogurt bland snacks you don't need them up next another yogurt snack very popular one yogurt melt I know I know I'm sorry to tell you you probably been buying it before because it's so popular but it's one of the worst Gerber products it has plenty of added sugars which is two grams about half teaspoon per quarter cup serving I bet this keeps your child busy and I bet they might be even very upset when you take it away because they do have the dreaded natural flavors besides sugar is sweet right but then it has that extra flavor and your baby just gets hooked on this again you don't need yogurt melts the less sugar your baby eats the less he or she is exposed to these very bright flavors anything with natural flavors <laughs> the more chances they will like more bland foods including vegetables and just some other good quality still tasty and normal for you or even good for you snacks and if you've been already feeding your child these things stop right now go watch the video i told you about a minute ago learn about better options better alternatives and start switching to them Whew. next one is a tough one too because it's a baby cereal and baby cereals store about baby cereals particularly gerber baby cereals i think is like the number one most popular baby food for the US at least and yes not 
all Gerber baby cereals are bad and I'm gonna shamelessly plug in another video that you definitely have to watch that is called best baby cereals, best store-bought baby cereals again leaving it down below and up here and now I'm gonna tell you which ones are the worst from Gerber at least so they have a ton of different options and the general rule is the less ingredients there the better for any food really but the ones that are bad are the ones that have added sugars and natural flavors the same thing I keep repeating over and over in this video that's the same with cereals you just need to read the ingredients of each one because some of them are truly better than other even the ones with flavors the one I'm looking at is the apple blueberry cereal and this particular one has less than one grams of added sugars which is great uh, but it does have those natural flavors there is this particular one that has the most sugar so meaning this is the worst baby cereal you can get from Gerber and it has four grams which is teaspoon of sugar for a quarter cup serving quarter cup serving of cereal with one teaspoon of white refined sugar plus natural flavors on top and this is the banana apple strawberry multigrain cereal stay away from this one especially you want store-bought cereal buy a plain one go watch again that video for the best cereals add your own bananas to it bananas are so easy to take to trips they are very sweet but they don't have chemicals you know it's easy try to think out of the box and trust me there are so many easy solutions that can make your baby's diet so much cleaner and just set them up for a healthier better future next little crunches another snack that is supposed to be for crawling babies and another snack I will never give to my baby besides the cruddy oils that are very high inflammatory that are very bad quality this one has high oleics and flower oil besides the fact uh, that corn that is used there is not non-gmo corn they also have a maltodextrin which is really bad for you it's like a filler or like a preservative or all of these things and it also acts like a sugar so it's kind of a very popular thing to add into processed foods and I think that yogurt's the number one product I told you about that yogurt snack used to have it too but looks like they removed it but maltodextrin is one of the last things you want to see in any food especially in baby food and this is a part of the zested tomato seasoning so of course anything with a seasoning on top has natural flavors and like this one the maltodextrin and other bad ingredients I am looking at just one type of product they have different flavors they might be a little different they have an organic version that is better not just because it's organic but also like ingredient wise but you definitely should stay away from anything that is seasoned like that has any kind of maltodextrin or made of GMO corn once again I have a whole in-depth video about Gerber snacks and I talk about great ones over there as well so if you are buying little crunches and you want something similar but healthier definitely watch that one I will tell you what's up two next worst Gerber products are technically for toddlers you find them in the baby section and it says 12 plus months and it even says toddler on them but yeah you can feed that to your child a little earlier which your child is still technically a baby but even after a year old that's not the mark where you should start feeding your child bad things so let me tell you what are these two products from Gerber that you should stay away from soft baked grain bars they have a lot of sugar for one particular bar that I'm looking at strawberry banana soft baked grain bars it has eight grams which is two teaspoons for just one bar that is just 19 grams it's a tiny bar with two teaspoons of refined sugar they even have like invert sugar in here obviously have the freaking natural flavors all over the place here multiple times they have modified cornstarch they even call it just like that so it's not near non-gmo it's not near anything healthy it's actually very bad even for you not just for your baby and they have organic versions of this which there shouldn't be you know modified cornstarch but it still has tons of sugar cruddy oils so stay away from the grain bars 
And now probably the worst product I found is toddler meal time. So like ready meals for toddlers that are shelf stable. I'm looking at some mashed potatoes, carrots and gravy, chicken something. <laughs> and the biggest thing I'm seeing here that is probably the worst, caramel coloring, which is a known carcinogen. I hope I said it right. Anyways, this is something that can cause cancer after it builds up in someone's body. And unfortunately, this is not just in baby foods. This is all over the place. Babies don't need this stuff in their bodies. Besides, there is a ton of filler and maltodextrin again and cornstarch, which is GMO cornstarch. They have some sugar here as well. Definitely not the best thing to feed anyone and especially kids. And what's your take on this? Do you give your babies sugar? Do you think natural flavors are as bad? Let me know in the comments below. If this was helpful, please give me a like. Also, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in one of these.